hey welcome back into today's video I was asked if I could talk about my experience with an eating disorder when I was younger and I feel like that's something I can talk about because I feel like it will not only help you but it's good to get this stuff out of your mental and just out there and to be uh, completely transparent I was never diagnosed with any type of disorder because I never did go to the hospital about anything like that but I'm betting that neither have you and I think that's pretty much the experience that we've all had had about those types of things and I feel like if I share with you my experience and what and what I've learned now it can uh, fundamentally impact the way that you approach it today so let's get into it so I guess it started uh, around i was i was young i remember being in like middle school and being like uh looking at all the uh the 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 cool popular kids and thinking like i want to be like that that's what i want to be i want to fit in and you know the whole that that type of thing and so i started watching what i what i was eating and i was uh I, of course i had no knowledge uh, back then about how calories work how micronutrients worked or anything like that so i i only knew that the, if you it made sense to me if you eat less then you'll get smaller and that is correct to a degree which i'll get into more about that in just a second so it started this su the eighth grade summer really i guess i was like 15 years old or something like that and I just started eating less. You know, those one or two close friends back in that day, they uh, would do the same stuff that I was doing. So we were all we were all just dieting. We were all just like not eating basically. And if we did eat, it was like a candy bar. I know that's weird, but so it progressed to like uh, when I started. I started writing down calories and counting them, and then it got to a point where. I started I would start jogging and running every day so I I'm not lying when I say that me and my one of my friends would run 12 miles every single day for like months at a time that was like a that was like a normal anywhere from 6 to 12 miles because we were trying to not get fat not get uh, we were trying to get rid of those calories and we wouldn't even eating that many calories I think at the time I was eating around 900 calories a day if not less and I was also a vegetarian because I thought that was the, uh, the thing to do then. And uh, it got to a point where I, I got so strict about the calories that I was eating that uh, my f other friends would ask me to go out to eat and I wouldn't, I, I, I didn't want to go out and eat those things that they ate, you know? I didn't want to eat all those bad foods and stuff like that. So eventually I would just do it and then I would throw it up. And I mean, like, I would duck off in the bathroom and I'd be throwing it up. Like, it was like and at the time no I didn't think it was a bad thing I was like oh I'm just doing this because of this you know so I didn't call it bulimia and I didn't call it jogging 12 miles a day anorexia or anything like that I didn't call it anything like that but I, I did get down to about 135 pounds and I was like at the time I was think I was like 20 135 pounds male uh, vegetarian very very small let's see if i got some pictures from back then i i didn't take i got really skinny but i didn't take pictures at the worst this was one i was really skinny but i was in the gym still because i still worked out and stuff like that i was a hipster you could tell let's see what else we had this is i was really tiny i was about 135 pounds at this time you can see look at my legs it was they're like not even there uh i did have cool hair though i was rocking the uh lip ring uh, this is another one. Uh, I know I looked really feminine. I would just I, I looked that way because I look how little my arms were. Like I was tiny. I was really tiny, 135 pounds, and uh, I was a vegetarian. And when you're vegetarian, you don't get a lot of uh, you eat a lot of soy products, which ups your estrogen levels which makes you really feminine in fact i didn't even i wasn't even able to grow a beard until after I, I stopped being a vegetarian but i went from being that little to like let's see if i can find a, a more recent picture oh there's baby greg guys that's baby greg kitten greg now of course i look much more healthier as you can tell 
this is me that or that was me at 135 now this is me i weigh 170 i'm 175 today 175 pounds i'm normal i'm more filled out in the face i look good but when you're going through something like that you don't know what you're doing it's like i never once said i have bulimia but i was i was i was throwing my food up for two to three years in a row you know consistently um i was working out extensively like overkill burning to burn calories and i was only eating 900 calories i would collapse at times i was like uh, emaciated I, I did i wasn't healthy and uh I think it might be the reason that I have anxiety today, really, my poor habits back then. Not to mention I was abusing uh, uh, speed drugs, which is also not good. You know, stuff that's amping you up, uh, caffeine stuff. Like, I think this, the product that I was using back then was like Rip Fuel or something like that. Made by muscle, t I don't know. But it was it was pretty bad, and I, I thought it was normal. I, I didn't think I had a problem or anything. And that was probably the scariest part. But the worst part about it was is that it was the reason I was doing that in the first place is because I had no information in my head. So it was about like twenty. It was about twenty, twelve, two thousand twelve, when uh, I just kept. I was realizing I was having these issues, and I was like, I need to learn more. So I started reading. I read books. On, I, was, I was still vegetarian. I didn't stop being vegetarian until I was like 26 years old. So I uh, I started reading more books and stuff like that. And then I realized how calories worked. And actually, when I learned that uh, if you didn't eat enough calories, your body holds on to fat. And that's why you get, you, you get like a smaller frame. If you don't eat, like if you only eat like 900 calories, you get like a smaller frame but uh it eats your muscles away and that's why your weight's so much less so if you eat uh you can't eat too much too too much either because if you eat too much then of course you are going to gain and your frame is going to get bigger and stuff like that so i found out how to uh, calculate my maintenance calorie level and my maintenance calorie level is right around uh 2010 calories and what i'll do is i'll eat that every day you more or less more more days out of the week do i follow that unless i have like a photo shoot or something uh it's it's 2010 calories and then the, the, big, the biggest life changer for me was figuring out about macronutrients and my body type being a mesomorph so when i figured out how many uh how many calories i needed then i figured out how many of those calories needed to be of specific carbohydrates fats and protein so i have 67 grams of fat every day 157 in carbs and about 190 in protein because I work out and that's the type of body that I want. It's only like sort of like in the on season, I do drop the protein and uh, raise the uh, carbohydrates at specific times too. It depends on what type of body type I'm going for. How lean do I want to be? If you guys are interested in that, you can just reach out to me in uh, the DMs or you can email me at ripkings at live.com. But yeah, so when I figured out the information that I didn't know and I realized how easy it was, like I was running 12 miles a day. I don't do any cardio anymore. I don't. Like maybe maybe during the summer I'll do like once a week uh, sprints, which is, which are really really do the trick. But I was running 12 miles a day and you best believe when I found out I ain't, I, I could achieve not better results and not run 12 miles a day. <sighs> I was like, what? So I, I cut that out. I didn't, I no longer do that. I will say that uh, the one thing I did like about jogging in, in general was that it's a really nice meditative process. But so I cut that out for the most part because I got to do videos every day. And uh, well, I, I definitely don't throw the food up anymore. I thought, I think the last time I did that was 20. Probably 2014, 2014, and uh, I stopped doing that because it started. I started getting like inside problems and issues from doing that. So I guess when I figured out I needed to have the calories, like I said, if you don't eat enough calories, you, then you're gonna your body's gonna eat your muscles away. And I really liked my muscles, 
and if you eat too much then you're just going to have an excess of uh fat build up and it's not healthy for your heart so when i figured out that i needed to have the calories and i needed to do these things in moderation when i figured out how to do it i think it took me about three months to figure out to tweak my body and get everything figured out when i figured everything out i was like i couldn't believe it thinking back i know that the only reason that i was i was uh throwing my food up uh not eating or eating uh eat binging and then throwing it up and then just excess working out was because it, of the lack of information that I had about those specific things. And I, I would say that that's probably the mo most people's issue is that they don't know. You, if, you're, if, you're, if you're throwing your food up, if you're doing these things and you're doing that, it's because you don't know that you could ha achieve a, the body that you want or the body that you need uh, by doing a lot less, by not doing those things. And if I could stress, it, the one thing I could stress in this video was that enlighten yourself learn i know you're wanting to think in your head well my body's different and i'm unique and this is that but no everybody's body is the same as far as the way that it works inside and always 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 consult your doctor and figure out uh make sure everything's good with you now this does this goes without saying but if you do have a mental disorder or mental things like that that of course is a little bit different for the most part, if, if everything's good with you and you're doing that and that's what you've did in the past, it's it's definitely a lack of information. It's, at least it was for me. Everybody's experience can be different, but let me know below <laughs> about your experience. Because as interesting as this is, it's always something more interesting to me. That's right. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative video interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up, thumbs up. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Yeah, so you guys wanted me to uh, share that experience with you. I hope that it was what you what you wanted. I hope it helps you. Um, I would definitely encourage reading into it and learning more about it because that uh, there, I'm going to leave you with this right here. Information changes situations. That's right. So I know that you're repping, if you're not repping, you're Greg again. And how do you become a member of the rest? Well, all you got to do is subscribe to the notification channel. Be in the comment section for every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg. The cat is going to be there, and the rest of the rest of the community as well. I expect to see you there too, because this channel loves you. Woo! Rise and grind.